Uh, okay, I am recording. <laughs> uh, that's good. All right, hey everyone, Game Crazy here. Welcome back to my Pokemon X Egg Lock. In the last episode, we uh, finished the route below. Mostly, you'll see what I mean by that. And in between episodes, I leveled everyone up to at least level 35. Uh, there are some people who are about level 37, 38. Let me see something. You... Okay, you still have that. So as you can see, Shadow Mario, I made sure to evolve him. Shadow Mario is now a powerful golem. A very powerful golem. Uh, let me just look at his stats after we get out of this battle with Gibble. Hundred and eight defense uh not defense. Hundred and eight HP, hundred and one attack, hundred and fourteen defense, nothing in terms of speed or special defense, so I absolutely do not want Golem to take a special hit. I have to be very careful with what I uh what I make Golem fight. This episode is probably not going to be uh, one where we catch anything, just letting you know. Also, hello, giant guy. You are huge. The Pokemon. The flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that was given eternal life. Okay, whatever. Over to the right here. We got some Rock Smash stuff. Rock Smash is a TM in this, by the way, so it's kind of worthwhile if you have a Pokemon that uh, knows Power Up Punch, just to teach, uh, just to randomly teach it Rock Smash whenever you're going to smash rocks. So yeah, expect Rock Smash to be coming on and off of Golem and other Pokemon. Also, we get a free rare candy here. So, I have one furry rare candy I can use for anything, because I actually got this. And, I'll... You know what? Uh, we'll just use our one furry rare candy on Chugga, so that way he can evolve. Because I think he's going to evolve at level 36. I need to sit down and look at my TMs. I'm pretty sure I got something Chugga can learn. That would be good. Chugga doesn't really have too many special moves right now, which is bad because he's a modest Greninja. If we were like naive or something, I could, I would feel better about giving him physical moves, but I don't. Chugga wants to learn Water Shuriken. You know, I'll forget something for that just because I like Water Shuriken. I don't need pound. Or wait, was that round? That was round. I cannot read. Oh well. Round, y y round isn't really that good either. But that was our one free rare candy. And let's talk to you. It just doesn't feel like Lumio City when the tower isn't lit up. So yes, this is Lumio City. We're back here again. This is the town of the next gym. Also, it's Shauna. Who knows who it was? So Prism Tower, AKA the Eiffel Tower, over there is the, random people talking, is the uh, gym. So let's head over there, watch it get lit up, then go take on the gym challenge. How this gym works, and for those of you who know the gym, you'll notice that I am actually on level with the gym leader. 
the gym is a quiz gym. You can skip every trainer in this gym if you know Pokemon lore. Well. Normally in a playthrough I would be battling the gym trainers, but since this is going to be, uh, since this is a Nuzlocke and this is recorded, I'm just going to go straight to the gym leader. Especially since I grinded everything up to a level, I made sure to grind everything up to a level good for the gym. Uh. So, uh, I guess a few things I should mention. Uh, first off, sorry for not really having episodes for the past couple of days. I'm recording this on uh, May 1st. Just to kind of give uh, notes. Past couple of days I haven't really felt like uploading anything because I... Uh, I didn't really have my team... I didn't really grind my team up until like two days ago, so... I had a lot of time to grind them, I just didn't want to do it. And, uh, what other things can we talk about? Uh, recent going on, goings on in Nepal, uh, Weirdo is okay, but, uh, if you follow him on Twitter or watch his videos, be sure to like the video. Hope that and uh, send wishes that everything gets back to normal soon. I don't really know what to say. We don't really get many natural disasters. About the worst we get where we live is a flood, which, like, half a day after we get a flood, the flood is gone. That's about the worst we get. I can't really imagine worse thing. I can't really imagine things much worse than that. But anyways, here's the quiz gym. Oh no, wait, we do have to battle trainers. I forgot. Oh, oh well, we're, we don't have many battles. Quiz time. That's Pikachu. We do have to battle trainers. Uh, maybe I'll turn off the XP here. I feel like I have to turn it off now. Yes, it's Pikachu. I kind of forgot about this. Alright, uh, now normally sending out Golem against like Pokemon that are highly likely to be special would be a problem, but because he's a ground type, we don't really care. Nor you have to be asleep to use that. Uh, let's just smack down. You freaking little poop. Luckily, even if the Snore would one-shot us, uh, we have Sturdy. Okay, good. It's not very effective, so it does 10 damage. Uh... Wow, well, can't believe I forgot that you have to fight these trainers. The fact that this was a quiz gym was the entire reason I went to level 35. <laughs> but, uh... You know what, we only have to do like three or four fights. I don't think I'm going to have Charizard level up. Charizard is the main reason I turned off my XP share. So that was a Pikachu. And one thing to note, uh, you can't go back down, but you can't refight the other trainers. So let's see what this quiz is. That's a... Fletchling. Yeah, this question would be so much harder if they actually, uh... 
it would be so much harder if they uh, were to put all the evolution names for this question, but they don't. They just put Fletchling, Pidgey, and Taylor on there. It's like, okay, I know it's Fletchling. I got conf my confusion is from the fact that it's either Fletchling, Fletchinger, or something like that. If you were to put Fletchling and Fletchinger in there, I probably would have missed it, to be completely honest. And I like how Raichu feels the need to quick attack when it's already faster than me. You're gonna quick attack again. The joys of Shadow Mario. He just doesn't care about this gym at all. Oh, eyeballs. So, I brought more than three Pokemon, by the way. Uh, I'm going to keep all three of them, just because, well, all six of them. The Gym Leader uses three Pokemon, but I just kind of want to let everyone get a bit of experience. I'm going into this with a plan, and we're probably not even going to have to dip into our other Pokemon. Like, you guys have seen how I handle gyms. Generally, if I come with a fairly good plan, then, uh, we don't have to go much more into that, say, pan poor. Hello, three. Yes, I'm sure about pan poor. Let's see, Ampharos. <laughs> uh, oh, ooh, that was something I forgot to do mention. Uh, so, off-screen, I went and got Amphrosite. Uh, I'm gonna show... Oh, use Ray. Off-screen, I'm gonna show where it is. Or, not off-screen. Uh, I'm gonna show where it is at some point on-screen. I probably should have just started the episode there, but I had to do the walking down thing. I kind of forgot about it. Uh, the fact that Amphros is faster annoys me. Just that. Please just attack. Not yourself. You freaking genius. Here, Golem, have some water. That heals you instead of hurts you. All right, let's see how long this battle takes, just because of confusion. I would heal the confusion off, but Amphros is faster. Oh yay, more confusion damage. This is the major problem with confusion in this game. Anything that has a confuse move will just instantly use it, and if you're slower, you're just kind of screwed. You have to take the confusion and hope you can actually just fight through it one random turn to kill it. Fine. Oh, I can make this with six. Golem Shadow Mario has not been as lucky as lucky with the with the magnitude. Oh, good. You're just gonna power gym again. I can easily take one of those. And there's a magnitude seven to kill. You. What's funny is I don't remember ever facing this guy with the Amphros. Ooh, Bulldoze. Uh, I kind of want to keep White Guard, but at the same time, I'm probably not ever going to use it. Uh, what that does is it protects you from uh, moves that would hit the entire party. I don't know if that would actually work for uh, single battles, though. And there aren't really many double battles in this game, or triple battles.
that Pokemon was indeed Panpour. Uh, this is probably going to be a longer episode because I didn't realize gym trainers. Alright, let us... That. I need to go check on my berries. My berries should be done growing. Luckily, I can fly. By the way, speaking of which, okay, that's a Butterfree. Oh, yeah, this one. I have to remember order. That's a Vivlon. Uh, that's the other thing. Vivlon was number two. Yeah, I'm seriously going to pick number two. Uh, I think the order is always the same. I think it's always 3-1, three, 3-2. Three, and we get to face a Plusle. Uh, Plusle. I guess I can talk about this. Uh, in... Omega Ruby, was it? Yeah, it's Omega Ruby. In Omega Ruby version, I used a Minin, which is closely related to Plusle, so I might as well talk about it. Minin is surprisingly good. Just kind of like how I think... Was it Jay Wits or Marilyn used uh, Plusle? And it ended up being the Pokemon that took down... Uh... Uh, Steven's Mega Metagross. I really need to finish that uh, playthrough, though. My Minim was really good. It, I caught it. It had, like, two-star potential. Uh, I think it had a timid or modest nature. It's, It was just amazing how good that thing was. So here's the gym leader, which I originally thought to have, I was going to start fighting much earlier than I did. Oh, sweet. And we don't have any damage on Golem. Er, oh, I should have turned on the experience share. Oh, well. So, this is, uh... Uh, what's your name? Clement? Clement? That's one of the two. Clement! He has electric types, and he's gonna lead off with an Emolga. The Simulga cannot hurt, cannot really do anything to Shadow Mario. It has two physical moves that don't really do much, and it has an electric move, which would be the thing that could hurt it if I could be hurt by electric moves. So Aerial Ace, probably all we're going to see, and we're just going to see 8 damage. Even if that Smackdown didn't kill it, uh, with a crit, which really didn't matter. We could have started using uh, ground type moves there because now it was uh, now it was susceptible. Now, you, this? you do have that I guess. I'm actually very surprised he went into Heliolisk. Uh, but let's go into Gaia. Gaia is the answer I brought to Heliolisk, just because, why not? Takes really no damage from Grass-type moves. Also, Effect Spore is a thing that's very nice. Any damage we do take, we can just Drain Punch it back. Shouldn't take much from this Thunderbolt. Okay, that was a bit more than I thought, but this Drain Punch should nicely heal me up. Now this Magneton! Technically what I wanted to happen was I wanted, uh, I was expecting him to switch into this Magneton. Uh, the Heliolisk had Grass Knot, Thunderbolt, and some other move that doesn't really matter. Uh, this thing has, uh, like Mirror Shot or something like that. I really hope it doesn't do a Thunderbolt here, because my plan for this thing 
was to have Charizard come in and eat up the okay electric ter terrain that works for me I'm fine with that my plan was to have uh, Chibi come in eat up the uh, likely uh, steel type move because steel type wouldn't do as much and then mega evolve and use flame burst this magneton has sturdy so you might be thinking oh no you're going to take an electric type move and chibi's going to faint however this is mega charizard x and this is kind of uh, one of the good things about mega charizard having two different uh, mega evolutions you can choose to go Dragon Typing for a special Charizard to get rid of your weakness to Electric Type stuff, to Electric Type moves and stuff like that. Instead of being super effective and KOing me, that was not very effective and barely did any damage. And now Clement has to be on the run because my uh, Flame Bursts are going to KO his Magneton. In two hits, just because of Sturdy. Okay, Clement, your Magneton has been going down to one hit every time I've used Flame Burst. I don't think you're going to keep it alive in this battle, so just let it go down. Good, Clement. Alright, and that's Clement. Uh, for beating him, we're going to get the Thunderbolt TM, and we're going to get whatever badge he has. I completely forget what it's called. Yep, there's no shame in losing, and we get the Voltage Badge. That's what this is called. Level 70 and up. Thunderbolt. 90 power. 100% accuracy. Really good move. I don't know how many people we have that can learn it that I want to teach it to. So it is, let's go down to the first floor. And I believe I can't leave this building because something will happen. So I'm just going to end the episode off here. I'll see you guys next time where we'll continue on our adventure. Our next gym that we're going to tackle is the fairy type gym. A new type in the game. Well, a new type for the time the game came out. Now they're kind of old news at this point, I guess. See you guys next time anyway. Bye. Find my mouse. Here we are.